Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a quick tip for inflating the tires on your electric scooter. Now, a lot of electric scooters today come with these fancy rubber tire valve extenders, which are designed to make it easier to get air into your scooter's tire. The problem with these is that you've got to screw them on to the valve and you've got to do it really quickly because if you don't, you're going to get a lot of air loss from the tire right after you pumped it up to the exact pressure that you want, which is a royal pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here, show you exactly what I'm talking about, as well as propose what I think is a much better solution to getting air into your tires. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off of the valve on the tire here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this extension on here, which is the exact extension that came with this particular scooter. And so once I get that on, I'm going to go ahead and thread this onto the valve as quickly as I can. And you can hear that air escapes even when attaching this to the scooter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, this air pump. And as you can see, we've got 34 pounds of pressure in this tire right now. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up to 46. It's going to get loud here for a second. All right, there we go. We are now at 46 PSI. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove this as quickly as I can. And as you can see, or I should say here, there's a lot of air that escapes out of that valve. And when I reattach this as quickly as I can here, and we look at the PSI readings, we're at 37.9. And we'll wait for that to switch over. Okay, 38.5, which is a lot lower than the 46 that I wanted in this rear tire. So here's a better solution. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna go ahead and detach this extension from here. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this lock-on tire chuck adapter to my pump. And once that's on, I'm going to place this on the valve and I'm going to push this down, which will lock it into place. So that is on. We'll power on the pump. And we will set it to 46 PSI. And we're gonna pump it up. It's gonna get loud for a second here. And there we go, we're at 46. Now, instead of having to twist this thing off, all you have to do is lift this lever and you're good to go. Minimal air loss, this is probably as close to 46 as you're gonna get pumping these tires. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these tires are small and they have a lot of pressure in them. And so any kind of air loss can be significant and you wanna minimize that. So using these uh, tire chuck adapters make it a lot easier. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is that these valves on electric scooters sometimes are really flush with the wheel, which could make it difficult to get one of these lock-on tire chuck adapters uh, into place and locked on. So in order to solve that issue, you can actually get uh, these valve stem extensions, which you can actually screw directly on to the valve stem. And then you can take your tire chuck adapter, attach it, and put the lever down. We'll power on the pump. And we're at 46. And these also have minimal air loss. We just lift the lever and you're good to go. Now, depending on the scooter that you have, you might be able to leave this adapter on. In fact, one of the scooters behind me has the adapter installed and I, I leave it as I ride. With this particular scooter, there's not gonna be enough clearance, so you would just wanna go ahead and remove this. And putting these on and off are not gonna result in air loss in the tires, just the way that they're designed. You can simply screw it off, it doesn't even have to be fast, uh, and it won't release any air. All right, so there you have it, a much easier way to get air inside of your electric scooter tires. Now, this is the particular lock-on tire chuck adapter that I use. It's actually got a bleed valve at the end if you wanna easily remove air from your tires as well. And of course, this is the valve stem extension that I use for some of my scooters that have shorter valve stems. Now, one thing I do wanna call out is that a lot of portable pumps out there that you can buy for electric scooters, electric bikes, 
already have uh, one of these adapters. So when you're in the market for one of these things, look for one that comes with this adapter. It's gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier when it comes to putting air in those tires. So I will include links in the description below for all of these. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, if you have another way of getting air on these tires, any other pro tips, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.